Hello everyone and welcome to another SDP Employee Spotlight. As always, I'm Kelly and today joining me, I have one of our most beloved employees, someone who's known for coming up with creative solutions to complex problems, our Director of Operations, Sharice Newman. Hi Sharice! Hello! Hey! I'm so excited for this interview, so let's go ahead and dive right on in. To start, how long have you been at Southland Data Processing and what do you do here? I've been here for 13 years. Um, uh, I'm the director of operations, so my focus is making sure we have people, processes, and technology in place to make our clients happy, um, keep them loving our service, and then I also work really hard to make sure that our team has the support, the tools, the resources they need to serve our clients. So I'm responsible for making everybody happy. <laughs> I love it. Definitely an important role. <laughs> yes. Next question, uh, what are three career lessons that you've learned in your time? You said 13 years at SDP. Yes. yes. So I guess the big one is that, and you weren't here, Kelly. Have you ever been to the building on Monta Vista and, or driven by our old building? I have seen it. It's a historic landmark. <laughs> yes. So we, I really watched SDP and we um, been a part of its growth. So. I always think about what it took to grow from that building. And the big lesson that I've learned is to always strive to be fair, consistent, and scalable. Uh, SDP, we process a huge number of transactions a year, about a billion dollars of transactions. So we do a lot of business, but technically we're like our clients, we're a small mid-sized business. So um, we're always trying to figure out how to value people, but always, um, keep in mind that we're running a business and that this business has to thrive to be able to support everybody who works for it and all of our clients. So I always ask myself, is this fair? Can we be consistent with this? And is it scalable because you want to continue to grow? We also work with Jeff Garrison from Results on Purpose, and he says that leaders grow people. So as long as I've been a leader, I've always tried to extend that opportunity and to create paths for people to grow. I've had the privilege to be mentored by people who saw things in me and invested time and energy to help me grow. So my mission has been to pay that forward um, and to help people be their best. Mm -hmm. I love that. And as an employee here um, who's been able to witness our leadership team and just all the amazing things that you guys do, I can definitely vouch for that. Now for one of our most contested questions, if you could switch places with anyone else at SDP, who would you switch places with and why? You know, my first thought was like, Kelly's job is fun and <laughs> she, you do like a lot of creative projects and I love that, but I'm like, I can't do it as well as her. <laughs> like you do an excellent job at the things you do. So in my mind, I would love to be Kelly, but I know that I can't do that. So Jeannie, um, Jeannie mm -hmm. does an excellent job at her job and her job is a, a little bit different than what I did at Services Solutions, but it's, the closest in the building that was like my favorite job um, a few years ago when I was a service and solutions manager I got to go out um, and meet our clients on site I got to spend time with them and learn more about their businesses and when you actually get to go out and and meet the people you get to see the people whose names are on those paychecks it makes it all real and I always walked away with like a lot of business wisdom spending time with our clients because we have su such a diverse group of clients um, and even personal wisdom you know I, I can observe and learn and take from those situations so I had a really great time and I miss it a little bit <laughs> I know next a little bit more personal getting to know the real Sharice what do you like to do in your spare time life before lockdown <laughs> um, before I was in the house all day Day, every day. I like spending time with my family and my friends. I have a, a close-knit group of friends and we spent time together. I enjoy traveling, hiking and being outdoors, going to concerts and sporting events. So I'm not able to do any of the things that I like to do <laughs> right now other than spend time with my gorgeous and very smart soon to be 12 year old daughter. So we hang out and try to make fun how we can, however we can given the circumstances. Oh, that's awesome. And you have to make the most of the situation. And it's cool that you have people who it's fun to make the most of the situation with, you know? Yeah. Um, so next, all of our SDP team members have their top five Clifton strengths, which kind of show, you know, how we work with others and what are some of the things that we can leverage in our work. So Sharice, what are your top five strengths and what do they say about you? I am strategic, ideation, relator, futuristic, and individualization. 
Mm -hmm. um, so most of my strengths are in within the strategic thinking domain. So I'm good at spotting patterns where most people see complexity. I'm good at anticipating obstacles and creating a path out of them. Um, and my superpower is problem solving. I pride myself in being able to figure it out. The other strengths that are in relationship building, I enjoy um, deep and quality relationships. So I'm not a person who like, enjoys a whole lot of small talk and like winning people over things. But once we are locked in and we are part of the family and and we have built a bond, I like nurturing those things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are definitely the one to say, what do you need from me? <laughs> just, just, just say tell it. tell me what you want. <laughs> yes, I, I love that. Like, let's get to the chase. We don't have to like go through all the courtesies if you tell me exactly what you need then I'll get it to you you don't have to like tiptoe around and make it fluffy and fuzzy <laughs> mm -hmm. and I also agree with the relationship component component I feel so blessed to have gotten to know you over the past you know three years that I've been here I feel like I've gotten to know the real Sharice and you are just so amazing you make my day with every meme with every gif <laughs> I was going to say, you see a side of me that some of the team doesn't always get to see <laughs> because I feel like we think on the same level. So even if I don't say it, you already know it sometimes. Yep. <laughs> so you're like, I know where you're going with this. <laughs> exactly. So. so now, if Hollywood were to make a movie about your life, who would you want to see cast as you? Regina Hall. I think she can be very, very funny or very serious. And I, I think I'm the same way on both sides of the spectrum. Pretty so much you. Until you get to see my funny side, you think she's a very serious person, but I'm very silly, actually. Next, do you have a favorite book, a podcast, or a blog that you'd like to share with us? Yes, I listen to blogs a lot throughout the day. Like if I'm not on the phone call, they just help keep my mind uh, working and focused weirdly. So Stuff You Missed in History class is a really good um podcast revisionist history by malcolm gladwell is a really good podcast and then my girl oprah my god mom <laughs> with her super soul throughout the day so i i'm listening to those throughout the day if i'm not on the phone that's typically what i'm listening to oh i love it i gotta check some of those out <laughs> and so last question is there a mantra or a personal motto that you could share with us um that's something that kind of has really helped you throughout your life and can maybe help our listeners I think that we often sometimes get in our own egos or in our own world and we fail to always consider that people have experiences and concerns and stressors and things going on in their own life that inform their reality. And that's not necessarily a reflection of you or your interactions with them. So I try to make the most generous assumptions of people and hope that they do the same with me and I don't take a lot personally. So even if I'm, even if I get really serious with you, probably in 15 minutes I'm over it or at least by the next next business day <laughs> things yep. don't extend very long with me because I just don't I don't take a whole lot personally well that was our last question thank you so much Sharice for spending time with us today and letting everyone get to know you a little bit better it's been such a blast uh, for all of our watchers if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up let us know in the comments below who you would like to get to know on our team next and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye. Bye.